basically said that uh, uh, hide the band aid, hide the band aid. So I'm officially a hand model. you can uh, start up if you're interested in drawing. don't have to necessarily think about why well, that would be a, uh, a, a, a manga in order to uh, uh, you know, get it started. There's different ways that you can kind of channel your way through, take sideways into uh, starting up your starting up a career. Um, I also do, uh, another another things I do is uh, a magic cards. I've done magic cards for Wizards of the Coast. Um, I do, uh, t uh, if you go to uh, my website, it's uh, piggybackstudios.com, I do uh, toy illustrations. Uh, again, there's, there's different ways of, of marketing your work. Um, I guess that's all I can say. Oh, uh, this is a book that uh, I just completed, it's called, it's a, this is a manga book uh, for a version of Maybe, most of you may not notice, but this guy called Patrick Lencioni, he did the five dysfunctions of a team, and uh, it became a best uh, seller for New Yorkers uh, interested in going into business, and they basically wanted to make it into a manga version, so it's a fictional fable about a woman who goes and saves a company from going crazy and flooding. Um, getting back to computers, uh, well, black and white here. Um, you can kind of see how I use tones. Um, one of the ways that computers has totally changed the industry is, uh, besides the screen tones and everything, is the wonderful uh, function copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. Let's say if you're drawing a character for 200, no, 180 pages long, drawing the same characters over and over and over and over and over again, what happens? The characters start changing. Okay, maybe the characters might have the hair starts growing a little bit longer, or the, the shape of the face changes slightly. We're talking about a span of for about like three months or so. So the good thing is, is what you can do is you take one character, <laughs> copy, pre-transform, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. You might take the head and start copying it over a little bit, change the expression just a little bit. And you can, you can probably get away with it pretty well. Um, it's done. It's been done before with um, a lot of the the uh, 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 slam dunk, a uh, slam dunk cartoonist. You know he does that uh, for the um, what is it called? Uh, the more sending classic uh, crying Freeman. I'm trying to remember. Crying Freeman. Yeah, he does that a lot because he's, you're talking about somebody who draws ultra ultra realistic renderings and facial features and everything like that. And you talk, Somebody to do that and crank out 14 pages a week. That's the rate, folks, of going of the, America, of the Japanese artists. You have to crank out 14 pages a week. That's a lot of work. Uh, so, if you're doing something really realistic, a great thing is there's no shame in doing copy and paste, copy and paste. Um, artistic, from you know, back then they said in the 70s when acrylic first came out. Now it's like everybody was saying, well, crap, that's cheating. Or photography, oh, that's cheating. But look at it right now, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a complete art form. You know, now, <laughs> now the photographers are looking at the digital people and saying, oh, that's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> so history is kind of repeating itself. Um, so uh, this this is coming out in, uh, uh, Dece well, this month, I guess, actually, it, it's already out. Uh, I have, as I mentioned before, there's a figure drawing for dummies, which I did. Uh, that's coming out in January. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, just let me know. Any questions? No. Jokes? Questions? Yes. And uh, if you guys are interested, I have uh, keychains that uh, were sent to me by my publisher, so um, you can uh, come and grab one for free uh, without any charge. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah.